in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel Pray. i would entreat you to hit on that button like yes you must open you, you must hear eyes you must the see the in the name of jesus grace. christ the graces have been being parted to you and then god is going to visit you open Thank keep you praying you don't stop don't look around. Pray. Focus on Jesus and pray. Tabarus kamalaka tabrash kede belekata. Embra kata taka tabakata rekete kete. Rekete kala tabarus asia nakata. Mam prekete kato la kaprins kalibarando shalakatos. Tonight my eyes see and my ears hear. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. Change my life. Breathe on me. Lift my life. Breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Change my life. Breathe on me. Heal my life. Breathe on me. Restore my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Lift my life, breathe on me. Bless my life, breathe on me. Change my life, breathe on me. Shalabarande salakata brahaska de in the lekete bransa sasiata kata brada kata balada katush. Pray, it's part of the meeting. 
Change my life, change my life, change my life. Let this not be another meeting. Change my life, oh God. Change my life. Change my life, change my life. Pray for your life, not your finances, not your ministry, not your business. Focus on your life. Change my life. Change my life. Tonight is about me, it's about my life. leave your challenges if you are not there your challenges will not be there pray for yourself this is about my life Change my life. Change my life. Shalabarakata paratus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me, please. Please listen. Many times we focus on the things we want changed not knowing that the troubles came because you were there no dead man has trouble no dead man needs finances no dead man needs breakthrough no dead man needs speed delay comes because you are there speed is needed because you are there everything is required because you are there we focus on everything we want change and forget about ourselves one of the primary assignments of prayer, listen, is not to petition God to meet needs. It's not even an instrument of warfare to ward off the power of darkness. It's not just a spiritual system of legislature. One of the major assignments of prayer, and this is where many believers continue to miss it, Prayer was originally designed to change you. Let me show you a scripture. Luke chapter, keep standing. Luke chapter 9. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, please. Be sensitive tonight. Luke chapter 9. From verse 29. Everybody read. One, two, read. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white glistening. He prayed and nothing around him changed. It was him that changed. When he prayed, his countenance changed, his raiment changed. You can change yourself in prayer. Did you hear what I said? You can change like, a, how many of you have seen a snake molting? Is a system by which they grow, they expand, they come out of their former self into a new self. So when you see that snake, the, 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 the former self, the, the shell of it that is left, is the former one. You can pray yourself into a newer version of yourself. You can pray yourself into a wiser version of yourself. You can, let me tell you this, prayer is not the only key. But whenever prayer is not the key, it becomes the hand that holds the key. If prayer is not the key, then it is the hand that holds the key to the door. Everything plus prayer increases you. Knowledge plus prayer increases you. Grace plus prayer increases you. Are we together? And as he prayed, he didn't say his situation changed. No. He didn't say as he prayed. Those, there were times that he prayed and people from a distance were blessed. But this time around, as he prayed, he was the one changing. We're going to still pray a few minutes. This prayer is not for my father. 
this prayer is not for my bank account this prayer is not oh god take darkness out of my life this prayer is change me this is not the best fashion of me this is not the best it's, it's like an it's like an incubation room bring something out of my prayer life oh god that is not what went in is someone praying lift your voice pray you are praying to be changed you are not praying for things to change you are praying to be changed Fix your eyes on Jesus and pray. They looked unto him and their faces were lighted. do not say i'm tired do not say i'm weak that's a lie of the devil do not say i can't pray you pray for your destiny by praying for yourself you change things by changing take this weak fashion of myself to a strong fashion oh god take this weak fashion of myself this weak fashion of a man of god this weak fashion of a woman this weak fashion of an entrepreneur this weak fashion of a career person let it be replaced by a strong one There is power in prayer. Pray yourself to strength. Pray your way to authority. Pray your way to power in the spirit. Pray your way to strength. But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong. Pray your way to faith. That thy profiting may appear unto all. That thy profiting may appear unto all. That thy profiting may appear unto all. Your profiting will never, never, never appear unto all by default. You must pray your way to results. Pray your way to real power. Pray your way to strength. Pray your way to real anointing. Pray out weakness from your life. Pray out fear from your life.
pray your way out of lukewarmness. Pray your way out of doubt and unbelief. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Greatness is what you attract to your life by reason of what you are becoming. More than by reason of what you have, your results 
are a reflection of the transitions happening in your life or otherwise it is cheaper to change yourself than to change things because when you change things must change everything in your life is a statement to your destiny this is where you are in the spirit this is where you are in knowledge this is where you are in destiny instead of shifting things one by one shift yourself and everything will rise to follow you you truly change things by changing you don't change things it's harder to change things one by one everything you draw to your life is a reflection of what version of you when you change your results change when you change even the operation of the spirit over your life changes he does not relate with everybody the same way at every dimension no hallelujah it's important we pray the biblical way to deal with weakness is to pray you pray out a weak version of yourself if you fail in the day of battle he say your strength is small hallelujah praise the lord please be seated god bless you be seated and be sensitive please play the strings for me mighty god give you praise Good evening, everybody. It's my goal and my prayer and my desire that every service becomes an experience for someone's life, an experience for someone's destiny. We've been doing this for many years, but we will never take for granted the opportunity that God gives for our growth and our transition every service is prepared intentionally not only to bless not just to honor the continuity of a ministry's program but it's an opportunity for the holy spirit to come once again and to change our lives and among the things we must rebuke is familiarity you must rebuke familiarity i know how god works I know how God moves. I know somebody is about to shout. I know somebody will roll as usual. This is what you expect in Koinonia. That familiarity will turn you from a partaker to a spectator. You can be in a place, be a witness, a spectator, and not a partaker. It takes more than just looking around to be a partaker. It takes a heart connection, an awareness that one moment in God's presence, effectively maximized, can turn a man's life around. People say one word from God can change a man. No. One word from God does not change a man. One word from God received, understood, and engaged is what will change a man one word from God to change a man is deception the devil has never been afraid of the word of God when the sower sowed it was Satan himself that came and carried the seed one word received with meekness the Bible says the engrafted word praise the Lord I came tonight with a very serious burden um, and many times when the Lord wants you to teach teachings that are very very seasonal and very called for especially as the times demand he will bring them not as sermons he will bring them as burdens it will be a strong burden upon your spirit that will refuse to leave praise the Lord and um, I've been focusing a lot 
especially about what i just talked about the power of changing things by changing the power of growing to superior realms of results by being the one to grow i think that sometimes we pay so much attention on the things around us we desire changed that we forget that those things are there because of us that means that if i refuse to transit in life no matter what i try to move it will come down back to my level are we together now there are many things you would not need to pray for if you pray for yourself let me repeat there are many things you would not need to pray for if you pray on and for yourself that means if you become the project of the growth there are many things you may not need to pray for again it's true in praying for yourself you will find out that you are praying for many other things your prayer life and indeed your destiny will be hard if you focus on any other thing outside yourself pay attention to yourself the development your transition and then you will find out that in doing so you are automatically influencing every result you desire let me repeat what i said earlier on while we're praying that greatness and success is what you attract to yourself not what you pursue what you attract to yourself by reason of who you are becoming if i'm still the person yesterday today then i do not deserve to get any result different from that which i had yesterday the results you seek cannot come to this version of you they are to come but not this version of you the anointing that you seek cannot come upon this version of you the prosperity you seek cannot enter into the pocket of this version of you so many times the power of restraint is not always demonic it is god waiting for the version of you that matches that result please listen and learn and grow this is spiritual intelligence not every restraint is an attack from satan not every restraint is proof that there is something demonic many times it can be god waiting for the version of you that is fit it is not because god cannot take the members from hundred to ten thousand it is not because god cannot take your finances from 500 to 10 million it is not because god cannot take your grace from this level to that level but it cannot come on this version of you the bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin they are all called wine skins the difference is old and new you are still called a human being but the difference is the old version and the new version you are still called a man of god but the man of god before and the new man of god ah jesus said why seekest ye the dead among the living there was a version of me that lied lifeless you saw that version on the ground but it's no longer in the grave a version of me has arisen in the glory of the father not the one that walked the earth now without blood a version of me that lives by another life i learned this in my life and as a person i stopped wasting my time to change things it is hard to change things do you know how many things in your life you have to change if you pursue them one by one think how hard it is to look for good friends think how hard it is to look for quality connections and relationships think how hard it is to look for information every level already has the systems and the provisions waiting the cheapest way listen it is harder for me to try to reach to something higher than me to bring it down to my level it is wiser to grow to that level where it no longer becomes difficult remember if you watch a child growing up like one of these are little ones they try to reach for something and you see the difficulty they can fall many times 
it is cheaper. Sometimes they can try and stand upon something that can throw them and then pick what they want. But an adult who has grown just comes and he can look from that height and without pressure, pick. The things that are hard today are not hard. It is your level that defines them so. If you grow, you will find out that they are not so. The finances that looks like a monster of a realm. Lord, when will I go out of this? It's only the old version of you is looking at the destiny that only the new version of you can enter. So it looks hard. Spiritually, Lord, is it possible that I can step into this? How will I start seeing visions? What does it look like to see a vision? Will I be in myself? Will I fall down? Is it that I'm dying? Those are unnecessary questions. Just grow. When you grow and enter those realms by experience, you will have those answers. There are many things about your biological life you did not need to ask. It's a burden to ask every question. What happens to me when I'm a teenager? What happens when I'm 13? Give me a detailed information of what will happen when I'm 14 years. It's unnecessary. Just grow. As you grow many times, you will find out that you didn't even consciously pay attention to those transitions. Let me ask you a question. Do you know where your clothes of 10 years were? Do you know where they are now? Can you remember giving them out? No. Can you remember burning them up? No. Can you remember packing them to keep somewhere? No. They left for these ones to come. He said, mystery you don't understand. Remember where your first phone is? Remember you didn't throw it. Remember you didn't sell it. Remember you didn't sew it. But where is it? Many times we don't know the things around us are living things too. They are governed by laws. They live quietly and we do not know. May the Lord give us understanding. That the things that we call dead are not dead. They can hear and they can see. They are more obedient to the systems of God than us. Are we together? I never had to tell anybody, stop giving me this kind of honorarium. Stop tearing 2A and rolling 500 naira inside and chucking it in my pocket as a bribe. That would be stupid and arrogant. The key is to grow. When you grow, a law prohibits individuals from approaching you that way. Are we together? So many times when you look at the things around you and you don't like them, they were not designed to live. They were designed to be the reality of anybody in that realm. If you don't like them, move to the realm where there are realities that match your desire. Please listen to me. This will give us intelligence. There are many prayers we pray that are, it's just the mercy of God that answers them. They are not wise prayers. They are prayers that are a reflection of spiritual ignorance. Many times the prayer is not take this away from me. Many times the prayer is take me out of this realm. The realities are fixed. They are there. An heir, as long as he's a child, he says, differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all. He says, but he's under tutors and governors. That means that when you find out there are tutors and governors around, the issue is not to drive them away. The issue is to grow out of childhood and you may not need them again. Praise the Lord. Yes. Another analogy, and then I'll begin to teach on what I have tonight. There are many primary schools, I believe they still do it, where the junior students in that primary school wear short trousers. Is that correct? And then when they get to a particular level, they start to wear long trousers. Now imagine someone in, say, primary two, goes to the teacher and say, look, I'm tall. It's something that came genetically. And because of that, it may not look good on me to wear a short trouser. The rules will not change because of you. But when you change, you change the rules. 
you don't change the rules by changing the rules you change the rules by leaving the realm where those rules apply all rules don't apply the same at every level it is true are we together so we seek to transit by the spirit to realms where certain things no longer hold listen to me look up please look up you're writing but look up if you do not pay attention to what i'm saying this is what will happen to you everybody speaks from the reality that his transition has captured so many times when you hear people speak you will interpret their speakings from your realm and based on your realm it looks untrue with all humility if in 24 hours nobody favors me is proof something is wrong at this level you see that yes the level god has brought me makes it is either an attack or something about my life 24 hours cannot happen without someone favoring me this is the reality at this level are we together now yes once upon a time if i'm not favored in a year i'll have to be patient for one year to know whether it's an attack or not at the end of that year i say no this year it, it was not like that and then you pray and then you rise to a realm where it becomes a month you rise to a realm where it becomes a week if nobody calls my phone in 24 hours seeking for help something is wrong i will go for a retreat 24 hours i wake up every day without fail with text messages of people needing the grace of god upon my life once upon a time i think something happened to my phone and there was no network i got up in the morning and flipped my phone and it was empty i said this is something is wrong something has to be wrong in five hours my phone did not ring nobody sent a text something is wrong i off the phone and put it back and there the text i said this is it because that result did not look like my realm now listen please listen to what i'm teaching you there are levels where if you pray for one hour you must punish yourself hello this is not religion you truly must punish yourself because the demand on your life the daily servicing of your altar one hour is too small if you don't meet that target you must punish yourself by an extended prayer time someday why because before you finish thanking god for what he has done the time should have gone what god has done is to before you start listening and say lord let me name my blessings thank you because the other day they didn't kill my member somewhere thank you oh god because the wicked did not get a reason to laugh one hour is already covered there are people who don't have much to say thank you for thank you lord because i'm alive thank you because even though my father is alive lord here are my needs but there are things god has done to you in some realms it is wicked to use 10 minutes to say thank you now the time someone is interceding is your thanksgiving time you use that one hour to roll on the ground and say thank you sometimes you use 15 minutes to just keep quiet and let your tears say thank you before you start talking that's why i'm telling you praying for one hour in certain realms is not talking in tongues for one hour there are activities in some realms that is only intercession and warfare what and what intercession and warfare because of the seriousness of where you are but there are realms that god has given you some level of victory intercession will be after a prolonged period of cry and thanksgiving so two people go to pray come show two people go to pray they represent different realms one person enters and say father i give you thanks you are the lion of the tribe of judah this is the day or the night whatever time of the day that the lord has made i rejoice i give thanks shut up and straight you go into lord these are my petitions help me oh this is plenty the list is increasing lord help me at a point you stop praying you start lamenting you are right at that realm you will find out that the person you went to pray with you will think he cannot pray this is what you'll be doing 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, I glorify you. He's praying, oh. You are merciful. You are merciful. You are merciful. And a song is playing. Lord, you are merciful. And you are there praying and getting angry. I say, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You are not at the same realm. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen. That person is taking out time. Later on, you are exhausted. You are thirsty. You are tired. You don't even know. You have been praying and miss all around. He knows you are praying and miss. He's not correcting you because there is a provision of God's mercy that whoever is at that realm, God should ignore his mistakes and answer him. So you find out that you are praying a lot of nonsense at that realm and you receive supernatural answers. They are not a proof that you are correct. The person standing here already knows. You didn't enter his gates with thanksgiving. You didn't even get to his court. You are shouting around the gate. But God came out and helped you. That is not how he helps men. He just came to help you. Now watch this. This is, if you understand, you will now get what I'm telling you. That your prayer life, imagine that two of you come, you, you truly, with, without, without a sense of pride, two of you cannot be prayer partners. It's not like you can pray together, but you can't be prayer partners. You can only be prayer partners corporately and to round up, maybe belong to the same group. Because this guy is already, he brings out his piece of paper. And there's nothing to bring out. You tell him, all right, pray. And you lie down flat. Only to stand up after two hours. You are not sleeping, no. It's part of the prayer time. And the guy says, bros, I'm tired. I'm finished. I need to go. I'll come back later. And he says, okay, God bless you. There are certain realms where you cannot pray with people. There are things God would do and tell you that requires you alone with him. So when people are there, he will relate with you in a way and manner that is general. And you have to remain behind because you know you and God have not talked yet. People are there and you are praying generally. Oh Lord, thank you for everything. Okay, may God bless you, sir. We are going to sleep and you tell them go. And then immediately you go. The atmosphere changes. The Holy Spirit now comes as one adorned for that realm. There are ways he cannot relate. The, the weirdness of his operation at that realm cannot be understood by people. Because sometimes as soon as he comes there, you will do things that don't make sense. You will walk alone and fall down and that's it. You are in a vision. And for the next 30 minutes you are there. Do you think that person will leave you alone? He will wake you and shift you till your spirit cannot return back to your body again. So he will allow them go. You don't covet a man's prayer dimension by saying, let that dimension come and meet me. No. You don't have enough testimonies to pray that kind of prayer. You've not gone through enough pain to know what a man will be doing for three hours. Everything in your life is paid for by everybody. You don't know what it means to be attacked. What commission have you been given? What assignment? What, what is the devil going to attack you for? It's just general attacks here and there just to bring down your spiritual life. Nothing serious. So you can stroll around for 10 minutes and go. But there are certain burdens that when, I, when they're on your head, the time it takes me to pray for one department alone in Koinonia will surprise you. There are, when you know, see, listen, the weight on your head determines how you walk if you are carrying a cup on your head you can even leave it and walk around if you are carrying a headpan you can walk around if you are carrying a destiny the walk is so slippery god must lead you on how to walk this is what people do not understand so this thing people generally call prayer is many things at many realms That's why you see me encourage people. I, as I began to grow in the things of God, I found out that I cannot pray comfortably in the daytime. My life at this level will not allow me to maximize prayer. The distraction that will come from my phone ringing, I don't off my phone. Whether I'm on pulpit or my phone is, if my phone is off, I'm either taking a flight or maybe something is done. 
you see that i charge my phone an average of twice every day i have to because of you do you know living is not general the concept of living is dimensional listen to me that means when you are tired of certain things certain experiences around you someone else is coming into that dimension so you are not going to say lord take away those things your job is to rise to the next dimension are we together now yes once upon a time i remember those days if there were 30 people and i was going to minister to them i would have to lay hands on everybody one by one it was very exhausting and i said god there has to be a better way once upon a time if god is talking to me and i see in the spirit that god wants to touch you i will have to walk to you to touch you for that word to come to pass that was it was not what god could do it was what my renewal and my alignment at that level could allow him to do and i knew that if i continue that way what if i have 30 minutes to preach and god wants to touch 500 people i follow them one by one touch somebody in overflow three come back touch this how do you touch the people online and then i said god there has to be a way and he said of course there is a way for i am a man under authority and i say to one go and he goeth that your words can become you you don't have to move your presence can be poured into your words you can send it on errand backed up by the anointing of the spirit and it will produce the same effect and i said okay god what does it take let's go if you are interested now when you rise to that realm you will see it and then sometimes a new believer will sit down and be wondering wow how does this thing happen if the holy spirit shows me that he wants to touch someone in overflow three now you see all i need to do is not just to speak it or say it you see that you agree with god it looks simple until you are taught what really happens you come and collect the mic and talk i will tell you when god wants to touch somebody your job is to just say it and you will be very surprised to see as if god doesn't love you so most of this prayer lord why did you disgrace me i went to this meeting expecting the result of a realm you went to the meeting with the expectation of a realm you have not entered because you saw somebody and you said no abba this must happen are we together there are people who carry graces as soon as they sit down and begin to talk something about the realm and the dimension of god that they walk in will force you to pay attention they don't have to say keep quiet no there are realms where they say oh yeah keep quiet now praise god everybody listen but there are realms where there are other provisions some spiritual arsenals have been provided that compel men to hear you so you can see two men of god operating everybody's bringing his possibilities are we together yes to believe that everybody is just generically carrying eternal life carrying the holy spirit you are right but you are wrong people come with their realms and the possibilities that come with those realms listen to me and that means that if and when you are tired of what you are seeing and you do not like it the bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord there is a hill there is a level where you can rise to elijah was sitting uphill and he was able to see those who were coming and he called down fire on them he was sitting at an altitude physically but that can also be symbolic of an altitude in the spirit papa Ia deboe can just come and stand on this pulpit and just say thank you and speak and say let me bless you i declare that before the end of this week you will be favored 
now he's speaking from a realm you will say amen it may not sound charismatic it may not sound apostolic nobody falls nobody rises but the nature of the spiritual provision that follows his grace will insist that that word comes to pass not because you believe it for the sake of the position he represents to the body so you will see him not say well do you have there are realms where you say have faith press I'm sensing unbelief. You are stopping this thing from happening. Truly, there are dimensions where God does a thing not just for his name's sake. He does it to honor the covenant he has with the vessels. It's true. That's why you can find somebody will come under a ministry and way before he starts learning how to tithe, he will start receiving results of a tither breakthrough open doors and when you meet him and say you are so successful teach me about success it will be the worst 30 minutes of your life he will vent ignorance from a to z and say why are you succeeding he said, well i don't know and truly he's right he doesn't know and if he makes a mistake to go out of that covering in one week everything will dry because that thing will come his results will come back to look like his true realm do you believe what i'm sharing with you yes the animals did not want to be saved they didn't know how to be saved but they came under the covering of noah's ark it was built with food inside to sustain them the animals would come out after the flood like heroes but where they left alone they would die there are dimensions in the spirit and there are realities that means that if i want you to move to another dimension of results then i must be able to guide you on the principles that will transit you from where you are to where you need to be there are destinies that no matter how you pray and fast at that level there are certain levels of the blessings of the lord that may never be made manifest your capacity at that level will not allow god bless you there is no need for that level of blessing at that level are we together there are things you must be taught that means every time come look up please that means every time the word of god is coming to you it's not only edifying you listen very carefully it's not only informing you it's transiting you that means a possibility exists that you came here koinonia at a realm and by the time we're sharing the grace you think because you wore the same clothes you are the same person going out immediately you step out you will find out that the reality that followed you here is not the reality that went out with you many of you especially men of god come here and you just sit for one meeting and at the end of it sometimes you don't even get to see me and you are prayed for and that's it all you need to do is go back to your church or your fellowship and the first surprise is when you open your bible ah, ah, what is this again then you stand to pray and it will surprise you let me tell you another thing that will surprise you your worship team members that didn't follow you will start singing and you will think this is koinonia worship team you took something more than you back to your meeting are you seeing that remember you didn't call them to tell them look this is where i went to this is the grace i carried you went quietly but the nature of that grace is like a software it starts reprogramming everything around you to reflect the level you have now entered all of a sudden you find out that if you are someone who were not excellent for instance and you contacted that grace for excellence you come back with it you don't have to start teaching first you will find out that in a span of two months exceptionally excellent people will start coming to your platforms they were called there is a grace that calls them they don't hear you because you are not yet at the level where they hear there are ministries that no matter what branch you open even if they open the branch close to a mosque they must have excellent people it's not like they bring people from the headquarters the grace 
was designed to ransack the city and look for those who must make the anointing that is upon that level to walk to come. There are cities where people hardly get land for church and for certain things. But there are ministries that enter with some graces. As soon as they enter, there must be vacancy. Suddenly somebody gets visa and is going abroad and he leaves his house. And they demolish that house and it becomes a church. The pressure that that grace puts on a territory until there are results. Please listen to what I'm telling you. That means there is a grace you can carry that when you stand somewhere, it becomes impossible for people to ignore you. It's not you. You have risen to a level. That grace will begin to compel. It will orchestrate a scenario that must bring you out. No matter where you hide, something must happen. To the point that if God, if it's a grace at that level, God has mandated that at that level, any time you go, you must be seen and his grace must be acknowledged. So you are humble. And because you are in that place, God, that anointing can make somebody who has no business coming there, who knows you, to come there so that he can announce you and then leave. The grace on your life. There are dimensions of favor that you can enter into. Huh? that even if it's on a Saturday night, you speak over people, they must be blessed. Even if it's Sunday during service. It's true. It's true. There are graces. Please listen to me. There are dimensions you get to in the spirit. That when you make certain spiritual utterances and say God said, even if it's not God that said it, because of the realm you occupy, he will honor what you have said and rebuke you when you go back. Are we together? That means it is possible for a man of God, a prophet, to come and see, learn this, a prophet can come and see that Shehu is supposed to be blessed October. That's what the revelation gave and is accurate. But I can come with a dimension. Listen carefully. Until a higher dimension comes, the highest grace that spoke is what works. But when a higher grace comes, I can make that October become tomorrow. I'm not a prophet. I came with a realm of intimacy and a covenant that I have with God and I can look at him and say my friend um, something fell down and you gave me look at this I bless you by tomorrow and God will take what it doesn't mean the prophet lied it is the implication of the realm that was introduced <laughs> believers hear this and grow so if you don't understand you may go back and say fake prophet you prophesied nonsense. No. The prophet himself, even that office is in levels. A prophet in this realm is not greater than a Christian in this realm. The realm which is a reflection of his work with God must bow. Listen, the office that that man has, as powerful as it is, there is a realm of intimacy you can have with God that equals that office. You are not a prophet, but the level of dealing you have gotten with, your result is the same result a prophet will get. So when you stand side by side by, with a prophet, they will call two of you prophets. You are not a prophet. You have only transited to a realm where there is no difference between you and the result of a prophet or an apostle. These are deep mysteries in the kingdom that many people do not understand. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's powerful. That means if you truly want to be a blessing, more than office, more than titles, seek to be transitioned to a deep 
dimension of work with the Holy Spirit where there are results you will command that it looks like you are getting results from every office. A point will come, your members will not even know who you are. He said, this guy is a prophet, but are you really a prophet? This guy is an evangelist, but you are prophesying more than a prophet. And you say you are an evangelist. He said, God told me I'm an evangelist. You started as an evangelist. Your intimacy took you to the realm where only prophets should get to and took you to a realm higher than that dimension. That means it is possible for a man of God you offend to curse you in anger. And truly it will happen. But a man of God will come who is not a prophet, not an apostle, not anything. But in a dimension of grace, he has been given the power. He will nullify that thing and say it is true. Based on this course, you should die tomorrow. But I hold your hands. God, look at him for my sake. Let it go. It's true. I'm looking for the best way I will help you understand this thing tonight. These are the dimensions that are at work in us. That certain things can happen to people because certain people are there. Are we together? Yes. All of these things you see are provisions that God put in place to ensure that the body continues to grow and that we continue to receive results. You can't believe that I've not even touched my message tonight. I just came with a hunger and a burden. Let's see what I can touch. I took the A part of what I want to share last week. Responding to the situation that we have that is widespread now. People getting frustrated as to whether the word of God produces results or not. Many of you have seen the rate of suicide and the rate of not armed robbery, not Boko Haram. These are people killing themselves now. A man leaves his family and then they are called that he died. Left a note, I'm tired of life and that's it. And young people also killing themselves. And those who are alive, it's almost as if they are dead already depression teenagers having depression young people having high blood pressure all kinds of health related issues there is an answer i attempted to answer that question last week was it or the week before last that the reason the first reason that we looked at was because of the nature and the kind of mentorship and teaching are we together? I stated that people have been taught that the value of their life is in the abundance of the physical things they get. And so by the time you find out that you are unable to get a car and a house and a child and a husband and a wife and certain things at certain levels, self-inflicted frustration begins to come. Listen carefully. And as a result, people become depressed. You hear people saying, as old as I am, I, I don't have a child, or I don't have a wife, or I don't have a husband, or I don't have my own house. Can you imagine at this age, I'm still renting? Can you imagine this and that? Can you imagine at this age, I have only three girls, no boy, you know, and all of these kinds of things. And I told us that it is because, first, the kinds of teachings, please listen carefully. The kinds of teachings that we have taught people. We have taught people that spirituality, and in many circles, sadly, that spirituality is only measured in the acquisition of physical things. Are we together? So, by the time I have, by the time I have certain things for a prolonged period of time, maybe a house, a car, and all of that, I am perceived to not be growing spiritually. Are we together? Yes. Why do you still have this car after 10 years? Why are you still living here after 20 years? So that pressure to do things, to prove that the word is working. When our, 
our expectations continually become disappointed, then we are plunged into that state of depression. Are we together? But then tonight's teaching also is an attempt to bring balance to it, to help us understand it is important for us to get results. And I want to talk um, maybe just a few minutes. Our time is already spent. On the fact that I believe that many people are unable to rise to the realms. Please listen. The realms that will allow their lives reflect the faithfulness of God. Among many things because we have not learned... Thank you. We have not learned that success is not something you pursue. Please say after me, you do not pursue success. You do not pursue greatness. There is nobody who tries to pursue success or pursue greatness, whether spiritually, financially, and otherwise, that will ever have it. It is not something you pursue. Please listen to me. It is something that you draw. It is attracted to your life on the strength of who you become. And listen to me. There are certain traits. Every blessed man, every anointed man, every influential man, everyone that has been trusted with grace and influence will tell you. Listen, there are a set of traits that individuals must possess. You call it character, you call it whatever it is. There are belief systems. Say belief systems. There are, there are mindset conditionings that you must be able to have that will allow you to transit, like I said earlier, to the realms where these things effortlessly. Let me tell you this. Every time you struggle unnecessarily to get something, stop immediately. Did you hear what I said? Every time you are struggling unnecessarily to get a thing, stop immediately. It may be proof that you have not acquired the spiritual, the psychological, and the spiritual, maybe sometimes the intellectual stamina to bring that thing. This is rainy season. No farmer would go to the farm and have to labor so much to till the ground. Why? Because... Part of the provision of the rainy season is a system that softens the soil. Are we together now? But if you try to till the ground by November, December, especially at this part of the country, you're going to have a hard time. So there are certain things we are trying to get. It's proof that although you are trying to reach out and it's running away from you, it's telling you something by running that you are not yet qualified for me. So instead of running unnecessarily, cut away. And stay back and build the belief systems, build the track record in the spirit that makes for that thing. And I tell you, whatever it is that left you will come to you and stick to you and refuse to go. It is true for finances, it is true for ministry, it is true for leadership, it is true for the anointing, it is true for revelation, it is true for anything. I want to walk you through a few belief systems tonight maybe just two three and we'll pray since our time is gone that i believe is pivotal to our entering these new seasons that the lord has spoken to us about there are many of us who can sense in the spirit that i am at the edge i am i've exhausted my current level are we together now that financially spiritually and otherwise but let me limit it to our the things that pertain unto life the things that matter to our life our upkeep our welfare and so on and so forth because that is what is causing the depression i don't think anyone will go and kill himself just because he doesn't know god he would rather fast he would rather pray he would rather buy books but when you are unable to pay the fees of your children, when you are unable to do well, when you are unable to take care of your parents and do all of that, the accumulated frustration can push you to a point. Do you know that in all fairness, I think in the last one or two weeks, I've gotten at least one text every day. People just calling and saying, Apostle, please you have to talk to me. 
Otherwise, I've been sensing, I've been hearing a voice say I should kill myself. I'm good for nothing. Repeatedly from different regions. And then I knew that this, this is terrible. Hearing voices, getting frustrated, feeling my life cannot, you know, my life would not make sense. The, the latest of the suicide issues I got to hear was a man, a father who had a quarrel with his wife. This is a true story. Some of you may have heard it. A man who picked a quarrel with his wife and she took out time and blasted him and told him how irresponsible, how shameless, how disappointed she was in him, how sad she felt that she got married to him and told him, is it that his children were also disappointed? And the last they said was that the man went out. He just left and that was it. They thought he was kidnapped. They thought he was killed. They didn't see him for a few days and they thought he was just, you know, men and their anger until police traced down and they found out that the man had died and they traced that the death was suicide. Now, if you trace, I'm not talking against church, but if you trace, that man will have to be associated with a group, a church, a fellowship, or some kind of spiritual platform. That means it is irresponsible for any man of God, any spiritual leader, to not at least respond to these things listen sociologically speaking men of god are also mind control systems men of god are also agents of transformation and much more than helping people to build their spiritual convictions we must pay attention to make sure that when there is an there is a psychological epidemic within a territory it is wise for every responsible man of God who has a sizable influence over people to contribute in making the people stay in a position that will not allow Satan to bring all of those kinds of predicaments. Are we together? Say, I need results in my life. It is true that results are not the basis of our confidence. It is true that results are not the object, not the motivation behind our pursuit of God and our walk in the faith. However, as I have said, I will continue to say again that results, among other things, are a system of consolation. Results are proof that you are adhering to spiritual laws. Results are also proof in many regards that God is with you. Not all the time, but many times. Rabbi! We know that thou art a man sent from God. How do we know? For no man can do these things. So when God is with you, there are some things, there are some evidences, attestations of his presence that must be there. And the Lord put it in my heart and I know by experience and by the privilege of mentorship from exceptionally successful people in the faith life, financially and so on and so forth that there might be a few things we may be missing as believers or other things that we need to inculcate that can transit us to the levels that we seek to have the results that will make us at ease to know and believe that God is faithful are we together so I want to share with us a few things that just take note of it we'll just take three for the sake of time and then we'll pray tonight hallelujah the first belief system that i want us to learn tonight that helps us to be great and helps us to transit well look up please is that all truly great people do not derive their confidence and their self-worth from the things that are outside them please listen all great people do not derive their self-worth from the abundance of the external things that they have. Cars, houses, certificates, achievements, as powerful as all these things are. No truly great man, especially in the kingdom, derives his self-worth from the abundance of these things. That means that when I buy a new shoe, when I buy a new cloth, then I feel more successful. When the cloth spoils, I feel less successful. That's a terrible way to live. Are we together now? The Bible, um, I think that should be, I hope it's, uh, what scripture now? Is it Luke chapter 12? It just came to my spirit. Let's look at it. Luke chapter 12, I believe it is. 
Jesus was teaching Luke chapter 12. Yes, and verse 15. Give it to us please quickly. Luke chapter 12 and verse 15. Everyone please look up his projected. Here's what the Bible says. Jesus is teaching now. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of what? Covetousness. Greed. Greed. That's the word there. Greed. It says, For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of what? Things which he possesseth. That means the true value of your life and my life is not in cars, is not in houses. Are we together now? So you must bring yourself to a point where even though I'm trusting God for a car, a house, I'm trusting God for um, advanced certifications, I'm trusting God to go abroad, I'm trusting God to increase membership, I'm trusting God to have children, and so on and so forth. My life cannot be, and my sense of success cannot be defined by these things. You know why? Because these things vacillate. They go up and they go down. Praise the Lord. I was sharing, I think it was with our school of ministry students yesterday. And um, it started with the leaders during the leaders meeting. Um, I traveled to one of the states and my phone just fell into mud and water and it was just gone, just gone completely. And while they were still deciding for me what other phone I would buy to replace that one, I decided to take the old phone. Remember that my old phone that you people hate so much that you've done your best to make sure I throw away? You know, I dusted the whole thing and I got it back in shape. And then when I went for the leaders meeting, I could see the body language, all the leaders, oh, not again. You could see apostle, you've left this, you know, and all of that. And um, I used the opportunity to start sharing with them a bit of what I'm sharing with you now. Imagine that I tied my sense of self-worth to a, an exceptional phone. I will now begin to tell myself things that I think you are thinking. Ah, that means apostle's finances is going down. This one that he replaced this phone. Maybe he sold it all because he's broke. Because he's looking for something. Now remember you are not thinking that. It is a make-believe that has come as a result of my tying myself worth to phones. There are people who cannot leave their homes until they borrow certain things and wear. There are people who cannot because they have created perceptions. There are men of God and women of God who cannot be themselves. More than half of their life is not them. It's a dangerous way to live. Listen very carefully. I show you a quick way to suicide. Tie your self-worth to things. And sooner or later you'll find out that you will need a knife, you will need a hoe, a cutlass, or a rope to kill yourself because of disappointed expectations. There are people who have tied their self-worth to the quality and the wealth of the kinds of families they have come from. So they will deny their parents because your mother is somewhere, maybe roasting corn or selling something by the road. And the impression that you have given people is that you are an exceptional Harvard type young man who most likely has spent a major part of his life abroad. And now they need to see your mother or your father and based on your belief system, you think that looking at her and her state will will be a disadvantage to the perception you are proposing so you will call your mother your auntie say just one of our relatives that just came to stay with us it's, i mean even me i'm surprised now seeing her outside you think what i'm saying is silly except for the fact that it is true how many people will never be proud of even their homes where they live your family house Yes, I know that they use mud to build it. But the mud is not inside your mind. But simply because you don't want... We have a slang that our generation calls. They call it falling your hand. Correct? How will I take these people in my department? My departmental people want to greet my parents. How will I now take them to a house that is smelling the, the humidity even inside the house? The carpet, I mean everything. There are roaches flying around. I don't want to be associated with that. Less the person who wants to marry me, who has been perceiving that I'm a lady who was born inside an airplane, may now have to make up his mind and change his perception. Let me advise you 
and let me encourage you i have a responsibility over you listen to me if you tie your self-worth to anything outside you get set for a shock in this life hallelujah god forbid but if any of my vehicles have break down and it's time for me to come for koinonia i would stop a bike outside quickly and say mr man please take me i'm late and and you know members can rob this they'll say my apostle the servant of the living god you know they they will rob it in and make you say bike stop stop let me just go back home tell them i'm not around if you need things to validate who you are you are in trouble because you will never have enough things that's why we seek to change forms listen let your motivation be a sincere desire to transit to a more effective version of yourself not that it is in the acquisition of these things that's why we are disappointed now i bought the phone now i i got the new hair now i got the clothes i got the designers i expected you to notice it and commend me and you ignored me so frustration starts are we together now did you not notice my perfume have you not noticed that i've changed perfume what is my business i'm thinking about my own destiny somewhere did you not notice i changed a car did you not notice i moved to a house have you not noticed that levels have changed i will never tie anything my self-worth to anything no matter how great they are i tell you the truth they are mundane things this teaching may not be popular but it's the way of peace it's not teaching you to be a mediocre it's giving you rest rest you've heard me say it again anything that is what's taking my life on i put it inside me god holy spirit quality information anything that is too big to enter inside me is not worth my attention people's vehicles spoiled and they they were too embarrassed to go to work why because they say ah Ogasi or your car spoiled my self-worth and your self-worth must be a derivative of who you are in Christ and what he has done and what you now possess so the first thing I'm advising you and listen to me koinonia I have a responsibility over you and over those who are following the mainstream mindset is to receive an applause because of things you bought a new watch how much is this watch 300,000 Wow you are wearing a 300,000 watch that's somebody's salary for one year man you are not a small man no, and you enjoy it foolishly not knowing that that watch can be stolen it it can spoil it can leave you god can instruct you to sew it many things can happen around that watch why will you tie your self-worth and then you find out that you are no longer with the watch and then you are just looking someone may be noticing that i'm not wearing the watch uh, well let me just explain god asked me to, who asked you the, nobody is thinking about you as they are looking at you they are thinking about their problems ah, where will i call my mother now oh god let someone send me 400 naira recharge card and you are there in a make-believe of your own manufacture say i reject bondage shout it i reject bondage ah you used to you used to wear a hair of ten thousand before what happened i noticed you have started wearing the one of one one five and two is everything all right with your finance what is your business does the one five oh not stay oh please I noticed you used to bab every two weeks but in the last one week i'm just a concerned brother it's like a, you is that you don't have money if you don't have money use bab just 
just clean it let it shine let it shine let it shine for god's sake don't be under pressure and say i must do this i must be this if you come to my house and meet me drinking gary i will only put it in a better cup if i honor you but gary you must drink i will not borrow money to buy minerals because of you no listen to me be healed of this societal pressure and let me tell all family people in Kononia, please hear me. Let nobody put pressure on you. Whether a minister, whether a leader, it should not be had in this ministry. That because anybody came to visit, they put pressure on you, you must fry plantain, fry chips. If you have it, praise God. If you don't, even if you don't have anything, put cold water in the fridge and serve. Do not derive self-worth. Don't expect people to treat you unusually just because you bought a new car. Just because you bought a new house. Um, just to let you know that levels have changed. Um, I got a job with NMPC and for starters, they gave me 1.5. And uh, because of that, I want to see Apostle. I don't have the time to join the queue. Can you please fast track the thing? I have a seed and the seed is a sizable one. What do you think I am? That's why it's good for a man of God to be blessed. Because when you are blessed, you are not looking at anybody's envelope and checking the size. No. No, we know man after the flesh. Please listen very carefully. Say in the name of Jesus, my confidence and my self-worth will never be on external things. It will be on who I am in Christ. And what Jesus has done in my life. So be proud of yourself and be proud of your level. If it's only one shoe you have, wear it every Friday. Wear it every Sunday. Let us see it as a testament. So that the day God blesses you, anybody who says it was a mistake, you will not be the one to answer. I'll say I was a witness. I saw that one shoe for two years while he was walking the world. Are we together? Sisters, don't let any brother come to you in the abundance of substance or things just to toy around with your mind and toy around with your life. Say, you know, I'm this and that and that. My father is a governor of which state? What is your surname? Are the states in Nigeria many that we don't know? My father is a this, my father is a king, my mother is a this, I'm a prince. As you see, I'm just a humble one. No. Whether you are a prince or not, that's not anybody's business. People should honor you because of genuine character. That you are a man of character. That you are a woman of character. is a nobler reason for honor than things. Number two. Ready? <laughs> Koinonia is growing. Praise the Lord. You must conquer greed. Write it down. The one cancer behind the, the restraint of God to bless many people. Greed. 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 You know, most people think rich people are the ones who are greedy. I tell you this sincerely. The reason why many poor people, poor Christians especially, who have an advantage of the Holy Spirit. If you have an advantage of the Holy Spirit and he's watching you poor, there's something you are doing to him. He is there as the advantage in your life. Greed. Many believers are greedy. It's shown in their givings. You started giving 10 naira as a student, as offering. And now you are director. You are giving 20 naira. Is that the measure of the lifting of God upon your life? No. Greed. Closely related to greed, please write. Selfishness. A selfish generation will never become an impactful generation. Please listen very carefully. Jesus Christ is speaking to us. A selfish generation will never become an impactful generation. What is selfishness? Look at this. 
Come, doctor. Selfishness and self-centeredness is when you desire something so bad, you do not care what effect it creates on others. Selfishness is not desiring good things. It is desiring good things to the point that you do not care what it does to others. That means that I so want to get to this speaker. I don't care if I match and I, match and I put Dr. Emeka. I just want to reach there. There are many of us who are like that. Many Nigerians are like that. And I'm cautioning you because it's a spirit everywhere. It's like nobody cares about the effect of what they are, they are wanting to rise causes for others. I want to be a CEO. I will kill anybody if possible to be that CEO. Me, myself. The language of our generation is what is in it for me. Once there is nothing in it for you, it's not your business. No. It's not the language of great people. Great leaders, great leaders are selfless people. Great people are selfless people. The Bible says, looking up to Jesus. Jesus did not come to the earth to pursue an agenda of himself. Please listen to me. I've taught us that it is about us, but not all about us. When your life becomes all about you, then you are in trouble. This ministry was founded upon selflessness. Truly, selflessness. Many of you, as you are now, God is helping you, but you want to so grow and rise. There is none of our children here that is going to school because of your school fees. You are waiting till the day you become a millionaire. Some of them, their school fees is 2,000, 3,000, 10,000. You are so engrossed. You can package 100,000 and bring. Let me lay hands on you to climb the ladder fast. But a little child can come and hug you and say, Uncle, I'm not going to school. Let me join. Am I, your, am I your, your father? You see that? Selflessness. Selflessness. The selfishness in our world is so terrible. So terrible. People will do anything and not mind. They will, they will hit your car on the road because they want to hurry up. Break your, your, your what they call it, your side mirror and just hold you and say sorry. I see that's the solution to it. I'm in a hurry. To where? How about many of us here? You don't care if your siblings rise. Listen, you are not called to carry everybody's load in your life. But you are called to at least pay attention to the effect of what your rising is creating. You can't ignore everybody and your whole world is about you. Ladies, listen to me. Because you are the ones that are most hit with this mindset. It is always about me. My money is for me. My everything is for me. Someone can give you 2,000 naira recharge card as a seed. You will flash him to call you so you will say thank you. What do we call that? Greed and selfishness. Listen. Listen to me. Many of our parents today, many of our parents, respectfully speaking and with due honor to our elderly people here, many of our parents, this is what closed their door. They were so willing to succeed that they kicked every destiny helper out. And when they got to a place where they needed help, there was nobody to help them now. When they were in the civil service, some of them got to the echelon of their, their pursuit. They never raised anybody. All they were concerned about is me. I must sit down and eat. And now they've retired. No young person can come and say, Sir, in 1995, it was because of you I got a job. Today I've come with a seed to say thank you. Let me tell you, sincerely speaking, many of us here are young people, but let me tell you, if you are old and nobody sees the need to take care of you and to say thank you, it's a sign that you spent your life in selfishness and greed. Are we together? 
Last year during my birthday, the greatest gift that was given to me was a letter by my little children. They write me letters all the time. They write all kinds of things, but I love their letters and I read every one of it. They draw love, they write Jesus on it, they try to draw my face, they write, you have been a nice daddy, thank you. Those things mean a lot to me than chicken, than whatever it is. You eat those things and go to the toilet and it's all. But those things are a reflection. It's a sign that when you are old, those ones, they can come to you and say, make sure this person never cries, even in old age. You say, but it's not your father. He said he was better than my father. If nobody can remember you for good, it's a sign that you are digging the grave already, even while you are alive. Please hear me. Great people are not great because they are pursuing all they want. It's not all about you. Everything God gives you, people should rejoice with you because they know that by the grace of God and with all humility, even if it's the crumbs from the table, it will reach them. I look at us, please look at me. I can tell you why God has not answered your prayer of financial prosperity. He has discerned the extent of greed. That in your being blessed, nobody, nobody. Many of us are so greedy and selfish that anytime you are blessing somebody, they know that you are looking for something. Whether you are looking for a life partner or you are looking for a destiny helper or you are looking for, for something, it is not you to give. I think if I stop giving, it may affect me. I may even fall down and die. But you know, Apostle, we are not very blessed. It's you people that God has helped. That is the talk of a greedy person. If you can't give clothes, there is food. One day you can make up your mind to cook two pots of food and call somebody and say, I may not do much now, but I am breaking the spirit of greed. Please come and eat in my house. They come the next day and say, no, no, no. I was only training myself. Don't come every day. Don't be ashamed of saying it because human beings will always take you for granted. You do it once and pursue them and don't feel bad. Tell them, please, at training, I will, when, when I get to that realm, you will come. But for now, come and eat. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. The spirit of greed. The spirit of selfishness. I curse it from my life. Many believers are like that. Two women or two men can be talking. I can be talking with Dr. Emeka. And in his presence, I will bring out 2,000 naira. Buy egg roll and minerals. And hold it while we are talking. And finish it and eat the egg roll and squeeze the leather and match it. Hapa. It's inhuman to live like that. Giving is living. You must trust God for grace. Don't wait till you are a millionaire. I'm telling you, listen, this, these are belief systems that will make your life exceptional. God will never trust a greedy and a selfish person. When he sends a word to Jacob, it's because Jacob can let that word reach Israel. If God gives you money, can God look at many people in Koinonia today and say, instead of blessing five people and giving them school fees, I know they are coming, but can I bless you? And then they rejoice. The angels rejoice and say, these children have gone to school. Why? Because one person was blessed. What does it take for God to give you a job? What does it take for God to turn the economic tide in your life? It takes more than studying business. Let me tell you, it takes more than we've taught you a lot and you know that there are astute business people in this place. We're not just men of God. We're not daft people. We're economically sound. We're financially sound. But I tell you this, much more than just the value you give, who you are is higher than what you do. I had a conversation of recent with a very wealthy man, such a rare privilege, and I met him 
and I asked him one question I said sir let me ask you one question I said what kind of people will you be looking for at this level and he looked at me and smiled and said apostle you are very smart I said thank you sir my mind was just on the answer and he said should I tell you honesty he said yes and then he kept quiet and took a deep breath he said I will answer you in a story and then he told me a story and at the end of it he said let me test I already told you you're intelligent what kind of people do you think I'll be needing I said trustworthy people he said that's it the morale of the story he gave me was that he would pay any amount to have people who are selfless enough he said every storekeeper and every foreman he employed cheated him and 95 percent of them were christians recommended by pastors he sincerely told me that the non-believers who have handled that branch of his business have been more honest than even the people because of greed 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 let them know that the word is working so you steal everything you steal cement you steal everything and sell it and quietly cover it up do you not know that when truth was buried it came out of the grave hallelujah there are very very listen let me teach you this if you are a businessman here please more than value and productivity look for selfless people when you find selfless people you have not found cheap people you have found priceless people our generation is full of everybody who is looking for everything for myself let me quickly cash in on the moment while i have the time some of you looking at me now as born again as you are let me keep you in a room with plenty money scattered if i count it you will behave because it's counted but let me just scatter it and leave you you will first check whether there's a cctv look around and pray in tongues so that those outside would think there's prayer going on and you just bend as if you are sweeping and carry one and put in your pocket who do you think is watching god alone demons angels the demons that will oppress you and you will shout in the name of jesus <laughs> are you joking please i pray for you in the name of jesus that the grace to be selfless may that grace come upon you yeah. there are nurses that are not selfless is that not so in your hospital there are doctors that are not selfless a woman comes she wants to give birth and they're acting as if please madam if you would die self, just die there whereas that woman has been trusting god for a child for 12 years and you see the greed and the selflessness are you from my tribe are you from my place are you from here no selflessness i these are the things i pray for for myself these are the things that have brought blessings to my life that you show god i told you that the lord told me if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there are many of you that desire anointing apostle anoint me and i look at you it's not even god even me i know the things you will do if that anointing really comes yeah. you will first run to your enemies and say you are finished you don't know what i'm carrying just know it's over and if you think i'm joking you you will die tomorrow you you will die on thursday by the time you kill people in a row in one week you say what this grace is powerful even me i didn't know it's this powerful listen to my message can god trust you go and listen to it please media let our family online and in diaspora listen to that message can god trust you powerful message many times it is not just in the fasting and the prayer as powerful as it is is positioning yourself god let me be your treasurer on earth the last treasurer betrayed you 
here is a faithful one and God is saying can I trust you say yes trust me God gives you 500,000 your spirit is still sound your head is still sound and he sees how you bless people you say you did this for me let me take it to another level whereas all your prayer from your small mind is God give me 5 million oh God give me 5, five million will change my life based on what your mind told you whereas he's thinking of giving you gold as dust and giving you the keys to the hearts of nations Lord give me the grace to prophesy as soon as God gives you that grace you just say I found my stream of income I'm not wasting my time for anything again I would never prophesy free I it didn't it was not I got the anointing at a cost and God says you see your heart you were there fasting I warned you and now that you have the anointing and because it is valuable people will now begin to pay hundred thousand per prophecy thirty thousand per prophecy and the truth is that the grace will work and while you are paying and paying you are happy you are building houses collecting people's houses collecting people's cars and doing all of that God is watching you he's watching you because he knows one day you will exhaust that realm so you'll go back again and say Lord I'm here he said, it's not me you are talking to it's not me you are talking to I gave you a grace I saw what you did with that grace Lord give me the kind of apostles grace and he tests you 20 missed calls by 1 a.m. you don't answer any one of them the 21st one you call and say let me tell you something I'm a human being too I sleep I this I that I hate you don't do this to me again the next time you do and God says look at the grace you want listen 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 please look at me selflessness is an unusual virtue that is the reason why not everybody has it why will you reward everybody when they have the same thing dr mike Murdoch says that our similarities create our comfort it's our difference that creates our reward hallelujah how far can you go for the sake of people how far can you go for the sake of god some of you have vehicles you've never carried anybody after service even if it's raining you horn them and say you are going and god is watching and you already say no god i'm trusting you to give me one car that i saw on my way going somewhere and god says you think i'm stupid there are some of you even if it's on a bike or a bicycle you will never help anybody may god never give you anything that you will regret yeah. did you hear what i said may god never give you anything that you will say i feel pained that i gave this man this maybe i'll stop here Let me just talk about it the third trait you must embrace is humility i have to talk about it our time is gone but spare me two three five minutes humility humility please look at me the bible says love not the world nor the things that are in this world he says if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him then it categorizes the things we can love into three the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh number three is called the pride of life there are many people please listen to me you see ba africa hear me now i'm not just talking to zaria i'm not just talking to nigeria i'm talking to africa listen to me because of our background huh and the way we have suffered and the way people have looked down on us and some of us because of our cultural context please listen to me there is that itch to be celebrated there is that itch that urge to be perceived as great and valuable are we together and there's nothing wrong with that we call it spotlight is the slang we have for it some of you i just mentioned spotlight you're already laughing i mean you just imagine yourself there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that 
Pride is one thing that will make God fight a man. God will not fight a man because of sin. God will not fight a man even because of disobedience. But pride. It says that God gives, opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. One of the, one of the, one of the greatest justification for pride is wealth and achievement. Please listen. Wealth and achievement. Every time God warned people of pride, it had to do with wealth and achievement. Deuteronomy chapter 8. You don't have to turn there, just read. The Bible says, let it not be that when you have what? Built houses and done this, done this and that achievement that you will say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this. And then verse 18 says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he, it is he, leave the remaining statement, it is he, he is the focus. Humility is not refusing what God has done. Humility is not simplicity. Humility is acknowledging God as the basis of every achievement that you have. Outspokenly, in your body language and in your conversation. God, it is unto you. Apostle Joshua Selman. The great man changing people. Ah, a man can receive nothing, precious people, except it is given to him from God. It's very difficult for some of you to say this thing. Why? Because you feel if I say it, I'm taking away the spotlight from me. Pride. There are many people, there are many parents who would have been lifted, but pride pride they will not be good examples look at me let me tell you why some of you are finding it difficult to access the blessings of god to lift you you are not going to be a good model being blessed you are the best christian model at your current state if you rise higher than that especially financially you will kill people some of you if you rise financially your mother your father your siblings and everybody they will kneel down to greet you every morning simply because you paid rent simply because you paid this i failed in life and people i think i'm a failure but now that i've succeeded i will rub it on the face of everybody no that is the way of the world we are kingdom people can you be blessed and still remain humble can you be blessed and still stoop down to people's levels can you be blessed and not disturb people with noisy of your achievement? <laughs> just, to, just to meet you and say, ah, um, um, just to let you know, are you aware that I just came back from Lagos and uh, I flew in? You came. That's the most important thing. Whether you crawled, whether you drove, whether you flew, avoid some of those, those talks. I was in the plane and, ah, you know, I was, uh, I was, I don't know, have you ever sat down in a business class? Because I'm trying to explain something I don't know if you can understand. You see, let me tell you, this is why many great people are persecuted in the church. Because we don't know how to keep quiet. Success is already loud on itself. If you dare rub it in, members all and sundry will get back at you and they will find a reason to get back at you. Let me tell you something. It is difficult to criticize a humble man, even if you are right. Humility paralyzes you. you what will you now say? Are we together? I'm saying this because we are in a very prophetic season where God is lifting many of us. Many people are not humble. They are only broke. By the time the blessings of the Lord comes, you will see the attitude, the pungency of pride. Pride is one thing that is a destroyer. Even if you kill Satan and all the demons, proud people will still die. There is nothing that gives me beauty and glory as the world shining the light on me. Then I hold the light and shine it. I'm proud to be the usher shining it to say people, 
thank God for Joshua Selman and everything. That's why you notice every time people want to celebrate me for anything, I become uncomfortable. When I'm preaching, I can be bold, I can be this. If I drop this mic now, and you start saying, well, there is a man here, that thing Shade was doing. You see that I felt like dying. If I had my way, I would just send my picture to stand and represent me. But some of you, you like it. As joking as it is, some of you, as you are sitting, you are ah, let my month come. If they give me this opportunity, I will first cut the cake and leave back the knife. Let them snap me alone before everybody comes. The urge, the urge, the urge to outshine. Huh? In, in, a, in a secular business way, that's alright, but in a kingdom way, the, the urge to want to just receive vain glory. Please, you must trust God to conquer it. Conquer it conquer it it's one of the big restraints that many of us may face you know many times i pray for you sincerely i do and i ask the lord i say lord continue to bless and lift my people I'm a, among the many things i get impressions of in my spirit is their tendencies god doesn't directly say pride tendencies vulnerabilities things that can happen that you are not aware of if you ever think money does not have power, think again. Did you hear what I said? Think again. Money has power. Put money in a ring with any boxer, it will beat him out before he enters. Money is powerful. Anything that can turn a man around without using sword is powerful. Anything that can relocate a man without advice is powerful money is powerful but when it begins to come with it it will solve other problems and create others hallelujah can you let jesus be seen in your life can you be lifted that 10 million naira just entered your account and you still come for koinonia and just sit down not to say if you push me if you push me if you push me Please, I don't have time for thieves now. What happened? God has blessed me. You're laughing. But these are the things that are enshrined in our hearts. So that they will know I'm a big man. So that they will know I'm rich. Well, for your information, that Jeep you are seeing is my car. For your information, just to let you know that uh, I'll be in UK on Tuesday quickly touch the u.s thursday and i'll try to make koinonia i'm still coming god is watching all those things it's not a testimony you are sharing there are many things that are not testimonies testimonies the goal of testimonies is edification not announcement edification so the part you stress in a testimony is the edification truly let me tell you something i vowed a vow to god and I say, Lord, whatever you will give me that will make me proud, I'm praying in advance, no matter how I cry, don't answer me. Don't answer me. Humility is a powerful thing. Can you have access and still be humble? Can you have increase and still stay humble? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't say we are like that in our family. It means all of you need to hear this message. It doesn't mean you are right just because everybody is like that. We are like that. If we have it, we show it. If we don't have it, we don't show it. But it ought not to be so. Jesus is teaching. When you come into the kingdom, you don't come with the baggages of your belief. You drop it aside and adopt the value system of the kingdom. There is nothing as powerful has been blessed and been humble your life is a message in action in action and it's amazing that many people what you call wealth is not wealth it's just a test 1.5 and people are in trouble 1.5 entered my account I have 1.5 million. Oh, well, now it has gone back to 1.4. I use 100,000. And while you are talking, you may believe you are impressing everybody. Whereas scattered among you, there are accounts that if you see, you will not wake up again. You will not wake up 
I'm telling you, it's not the you. There are some things you act like you are used to seeing. No, there are things you are not used to seeing. You will see things that you will not know what part of your body to react with, and yet people can have those things and be quiet. Moses had the ability to prophesy from morning till night. The grace of the prophetic was so much in him, yet Moses was quiet. Part of his spirit was taken out. They called elders who had followed him. Seventy people received the spirit of Moses. Nobody could keep quiet. Ah, I thus hear the Lord from morning till night. And Moses was watching them. Moses said, this thing that is making you make noise, times ten of it is what was in me, yet I was quiet. Can you have so much and be quiet? Can you know so much and be quiet? There are people, if you know so much, when someone is talking once is wrong, let me correct you, sorry. That's what I studied. No, no, that's my field. I won't keep quiet. It is powerful to know so much. There are times that I listen to people as they talk. And many times what they are saying doesn't make a lot of sense. Spiritually and even intellectually. I know a lot more than what they are saying. But I honor them because they have more results than me. I keep quiet and I just hear. You understand what I'm saying? I say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what the man is saying is, is, is quite honestly nonsense. And I just keep quiet and I listen. He say, ah. And sometimes they are, they are flattered. They are impressed because of the whole thing. Just listen and say, yes, sir. And keep quiet. Not, sir. With all due respect, I don't want to talk while we're just keeping quiet. But, Sakai, this your thing is outdated. No. You lose many opportunities like that. In the name of Jesus, may this ministry even with the things that God is doing, bring people who are exceptionally blessed and humbled. That a time will come when people will pack cars that if you want to see it, you only come for koinonia and you will not even know who is who. People will just be rolling, rolling on the ground. It's after the grace. You will just see a tiny lady say, let me rush home. You think she's calling a bike man and she will enter a car that was your dream that you plan to buy in 30 years. And you say, that's the owner. I said, that's the owner. That lady is a CEO of something. He said, was she not the one rolling up and down? That's a message. Koinonia extended. Extended through your life. Don't brag around and move around making noise. I have this. I have that. Listen, when you are under pressure to keep saying things, it's a sign that you have complex yourself. You must be healed, be strengthened. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. Do you agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. At 38 years, no child is a concern. At 38 years, you cannot at least move into your house. It's a concern. At 38 years, there's nothing meaningful you are doing. It's a concern. The Bible says this man had been there 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen. God is about to speak to you. And knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows. And then the Bible says, He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The impotent man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper he says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been, be blessed after 20 years. 
but God is saying I can follow another route with you such that in one year I can do something in your life that will surprise you he said I have no man and the Lord said reveal to my people I will manifest as a helper when God helps a man you will be surprised the Bible says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped marvelously helped part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper he comes in to help you that's what grace is all about that where your effort stops and you say Lord if it's based on my qualification oh I read whatever it is and God says I am here I can take you to another level oh God I'm here I've been barren they said I don't even have a womb and he says I am here to help you who is God speaking to tonight you really need help only an arrogant person will deny the need for help I have been helped by people in my life and I saw how easy my life became when they helped me are we together now watch this Benga come I'm trying to lift this and my hand is I can't lift it and then a helper comes and sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything and it makes my life easy the help of God can make a man's life easy please let me preach to you for one minute I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it disabuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble economy everybody shouting dollar I like you to shout it count me out say it shout it one more time listen we are not irresponsible citizens don't get me wrong we sympathize with what is happening in the nation but if you dare let Satan speak to you he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life people who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility everybody says dollar is rising Is it not in your Bible when men say? Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life listen god is looking for every opportunity to make a statement afford him your life a christian is not one who has just received jesus into his life a christian listen is one who operates by the principles of the word of god our economy is different And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again are we together you must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ so he wants to be your helper can you hand over your life and say God help me 
truly have tried by myself if you don't help me i will never get this admission if you don't help me i will never graduate if you don't help me my certificate will remain a piece of paper i will keep mocking myself with my accolades listen if no one has told you let me tell you again our world is a cruel and a wicked world you don't have to do anything you don't have to trouble anyone you just need to be alive that's the condition to be a potential victim when the lord told me this i said lord i first i receive for myself i receive for myself he is my helper when god comes in to help you he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you'll be watching the growth this is how it will leave and you're saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne His father, and Do you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and he said, I know my salary is on his way coming. Lord, I trust you and you say, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean rolls to the Lord our Lord. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the elders and the saints Sing praise I believe God though I'm a man of faith I believe God he says i know whom i have believed i've seen god help people even in this place in this place brothers and sisters there is a mystery of lifting god can take a man you see somebody today and god can lift that person he, he, they looked at some and said where did, we can't see the process where did Saul become a prophet a man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me. Leave that one. Let God choose. If God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? 
Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, Avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And um, she said everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly no hope for marriage. Nothing was working. They were about to throw her out on her job. And I prophesied to her and I said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department. She should not be afraid. And she said, man of God, that's exactly what happened. And she looked at me. And she said, can you imagine what has happened to my life? She just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. And she said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said, I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please. I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him. That's why I know Wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows, there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because the, the situation is so scattered, it doesn't have beginning and end. They don't even know where the problem started from. They know that they are in the middle of a situation. But the helper, when he comes, he can make every crooked path straight. There are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround breakthrough do you believe 
that God is stepping in. The worship team sang so beautiful. And they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself. And say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please, lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Go the everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out by the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Hallelujah. everlasting. Madam, check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? There's a movement. Movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown. Brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight everlasting to everlasting lord we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting everlasting to everlasting we will praise you from everlasting you're welcome please stand up this woman has suffered i'm looking at this woman and i saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone mama can you hear me look at this woman crying you see some of you don't know why god this is not just showmanship there are people here just seated close to you if they tell you their stories your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are, you? are you? Are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. In Zaria, what do you do? I desire I need to pray because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They cut. In my dad, they cut. This way, my dad, they cut. I go yesterday. Yesterday, we go. They say, oh, they tell me to come back again. Eh? What cut? He get problem. In my dad, they cut. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you are, have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't, don't be afraid, mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, Young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a curse. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah.
Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie. Same material. A tie like a normal this thing this is a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window please i need to speak to her if there is somebody like that let's have a mother outside the lord is showing me mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus for god to change your story i don't know what is in the court but in the name of jesus we will change it how old are you you are 14 you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me because the same thing He's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit father i lay my hands on our mommy the back pain look at me mama the back pain you it did, it did, it did. you will be healed now Amen. hold my hand Amen. look at what is happening to her mama shout jesus loud jesus. father hold my hands for your glory mama look at me look at me you see something like fire moving at your back right now that pain is living right now in the name of jesus do what you couldn't do check yourself do what you couldn't do look at look at you help her cover her it will never return to you in the name of Jesus and I pray for you my friend I'm seeing you but I'm seeing two heads this is a misidentity the devil wants to misrepresent you but I'll pray for you huh your passion for God have good friends if your friends are not good leave them this night may God give you good friends in the name of Jesus Christ grace for you that anointing comes upon you takes you to a new dimension this is the woman mama you're welcome let's celebrate Jesus I'll pray for you but there is another woman I'm talking about there is another mama outside who needs to come mama I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus you have a daughter yes. where is she she's outside she's outside call her come daughter where are you please come Everlasting to what's her name Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? I told her to have the one. No. The woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it. Ladies now, the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I'll pray for you. I don't know why she's here, she's here but I'll pray for you. You are already out, I'll pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother. This is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. 
this is your grandmother but she's like your mother now yes. oh i see because the lord is saying i should tell your mother whoever is that that she's going to lift her Amen. and in the name of the lord jesus christ mama god is lifting you and is wiping your tears and the lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life believe me Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She have a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? Maybe you here. Maybe you here. Yes, I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. May that grace come upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. Bless you mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus. Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus. No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out. You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad like occult fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, uh, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Huh? I'm staying with my elbow at the Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm piping in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You're a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing now. What took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? Yes, I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school? 
is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam on Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Sir. Regina, Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. Mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You two, what category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? S there's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pr please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious and you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. 
It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, He may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit. He needs help. Let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send him to her life, the man a, a responsible and God-fearing man in the name of Jesus Christ and for your shame may my God give you double in the name of Jesus Christ Amen and Amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll, Madam, please come that woman, can I talk to you? please clear the way for her Madam, please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say Father, visit me Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. You were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself. Because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Your hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. 
How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know. I don't know what causes it, but I know how it. Do Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder, and the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all <laughs> I know. <laughs> Most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in jesus name I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Please come. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power flows through this baby. Jesus name I hope the usher will help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life okay. I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk I'll talk about it okay the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now inside and outside i'm going to pray for you right now wherever you are as i begin to pray it's like fire it will come upon you confusion stagnation at least 13 people i see in the spirit please lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands i'll do the praying let's just flow the way the holy spirit is praying. lord jesus i'm praying right now by the ministry of angels 13 people by the influence of the spirit 
I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are, inside and outside, right now as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them right now. Right now, bring them out. 13 people. 13 people. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. That team people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them, bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me. There are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen, my goodness. You are going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen, at the count of three, I tell you wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the Spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! Families, 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 the sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, those outside, listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me. There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen. I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, 
I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands right now, right now, right now. I command that right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire, 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 every spirit, every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil, right now, I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them, release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out, out right now. My left and my right, I release my spirit right now. Right now, right now, right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you outside, don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them father i chains of bondage but you organize this meeting to recover destinies therefore at the count of three it will come like fire on some of you one two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit let that go right now in the name of Jesus 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 the Lord is giving you a new song a new song the Lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the Holy Ghost Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years, he's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir. I have to pray there's delay in your life the lord wants me to break the spirit of delay i hope you are not embarrassed sir no. hold my hand sir something will happen to you remarkably right now take it that devil of delay out of his life right now out out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit the name eboy eboy state someone here from a boy state god is bringing a miracle at my back that person is at my back a boy state god is bringing a miracle wherever that person is 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The service, but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies where yes, are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister no. you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five ladies yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of Jesus look I stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are God can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person Grace, I hear a name, Grace. Grace, Grace, there's someone with the name Grace. Is there someone like that? Grace, Grace. I need to pray for Grace. Grace, Grace. And I'm hearing Garba, Garba. I'm hearing a name, Garba. God is ministering to somebody, I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba in the name of Jesus Garba where are you your name is Garba your son name is Garba where is your dad he's outside he's in Saudi Arabia he's a he's 
is in Saudi Arabia because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God the trainer should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And it's, I, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with you. you are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jump next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing, you are right, Jam. Three people. You are right, Jam. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. What, please remind me in case I forget this jam thing. We have to settle it once and for all. Please, people are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes. Inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside, here, there are at least two of you. Fire is coming upon you right now. I see the power of darkness being broken. Lord, where are they? Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand upon this anointing. Wherever they are, Father, there is a lady right now. It's like fire is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That fire is coming upon you. All of you standing here, I prophesy to you. In the name that is above all names. Hear me. Whatever has tied your progress. I'm talking to those here. I stand under this anointing. And I declare a change of story right now. Benway State. There's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please. You have an elder brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation. And the Lord is saying, release them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there is witchcraft. I take authority over that spirit. Of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody. Two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll, I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. Listen, God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please. 
don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble god is saving you send her a text now to go home you are born again one once i make altar call wherever you are please march to the front in the name of jesus hallelujah the power of god is coming on some ladies here i've seen in some at least three ladies severe menstrual pain this is not this is something that for one of you is in your family lift your hands please just here this region right now the fire of god is going to come on some ladies i take authority over that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ right now right now i curse that spirit in the name of jesus christ a lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now it will come upon you like fire i take authority over it right now in the name of jesus christ and there is a lady that the lord is showing me for four months you have not seen your period four months you have not seen your period i think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of jesus christ i see someone's family um like relative in prison there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. five years how many years has he done one one year we are going to pray for mercy you will not reach five years we are going to bring him out you believe that yes. lift your hands for him and let the name of jesus step in and give him the mighty name of jesus lift your hands my dear look at me i'm seeing a crown being put on your head you this are you hearing me god is bringing you into a new dimension of grace father i stretch my hands to her right now right now that fire comes upon you right now in the name of jesus let me talk to the lady with the pink cap you lift your hands beauty for ashes that's what god is saying is bringing beauty for ashes in the name of jesus christ God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. I'll pray for you for the Joseph is inside the house here. Who is that? Come out. Your name is Joseph. I will pray to you. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are a student. You are a copper. God is wiping you. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? You are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There is an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord would lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is buried. Who is that person? Barren, the Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. Your sister is 
buddy. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, no, no. Not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? You get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more The Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this is God is to do. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something has been activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with a testimony. 
but for all of us who are connecting for other people you lift your hands you out right now right now it's a curse upon the family you are going by the spirit of the living god right now you are a devil of darkness i see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children for your loved ones. Miracle children, they take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence. The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy are you. Hey, my confidence are you. Looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your, Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy are you. My confidence are you. The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you my up and my joy my confidence hey, I exalt you oh. I release this miracle 
Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears. Right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hand? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle, a miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast. We'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service. Right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Shebakarota supra di shebererebosh. Rabadabalarabash. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now, right now. 
right now supernatural direction shake parotopa help that guy in the name of jesus every confusion in your life those outside make sure you participate someone is asking oh god what is the next step i pray by this anointing receive direction right now receive direction right now in the name of jesus someone's marital destiny is under siege right now in the name that is above all names an anointing a yoke breaker anointing i prophesy receive it right now i open those doors right now inside outside i open those doors right now hallelujah there's someone praying you are asking god for money for rent rent the lord is telling me that between now and monday morning there is a miracle coming for you there is a miracle coming for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are ladies who have even guys this spell of disfavor please listen in the name of jesus you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face i see many people being affected by this lord where are they that mark of this favor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tell of that mark that mark of this favor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus hallelujah listen you have come to the end of your road and if god does not step in there will not be any way out i pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level i stand under this anointing in this miracle service and i prophesy i command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it i command that door to open i command that door to open swing open in the name of jesus whatever has been earmarked from heaven to enter your hand and it's yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shalakataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything that must enter your hand. Inside and outside. I command it. From the realm of the spirit. I deliver it to your hands. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow I command your family grow. I command your finances grow. I command your ministry grow. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You hear me pray this all the time because I've seen what it can do in the life of a man. Where are your destiny helpers? If there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven 
land upon your life and call helpers right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names i put an anointing upon you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus go forward i prophesy in your career go forward in every area of your life hallelujah let me speak over our finances you see what is happening around the nation father we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor ah there is such a thing my brother and my sister called favor lift your hands my god and my king that anointing for favor that was on joseph that anointing that made five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people wherever you are may that anointing come on your life right now it's coming on people may that anointing come upon you it comes upon you right now hallelujah some of us are moving but our pace is too slow that's the truth we need acceleration we are moving but your pace is too slow there are things you should do in two weeks not three years there are things you should do in one day i'm praying for you the bible says and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you. That between now and next month miracle service. What has not happened from when Koinonia started. May the God that I serve release it into your life. I command speed. 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 I prophesy it speed. Hallelujah. All those writing jam, lift your hands. It's time for you to move forward. If you are not writing, you can stand in for somebody, maybe your loved ones or whatever. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom, hear me. Daniel was found ten times better. That ten times better unction. As you write your jam, may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of jesus yeah. 
there are people who suffer and read and sit down in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm led to pray for those in final year i don't know why but the holy spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that god who can correct a man's mistake i pray for you in the name that is above all names you will graduate this year i said you will graduate this year i don't know how it will happen but you must graduate this year hallelujah the secret receive this two more and we're done the secret the ideas the strategy you need for the next level of your life i'm praying for you please lift your hands there will be a strong impartation god is releasing anointings for creativity some of it will come upon you you will not know why but when you sleep you will see it in dreams my god i'm praying i see this thing falling on at least 40 people in the name that is above all names that anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one two three yes lord receive it receive it receive it malakata bababa breakthrough breakthrough i smash those barriers breakthrough in the name of jesus breakthrough i mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you they will be compelled to bless you listen to what i'm saying i mark you with an unction i mark you with a mystery and i command that anywhere they see you may they bless you anywhere you enter may this anointing force men to bless you anywhere you travel to may this anointing distinguish you isaac blessed his son and said the smell of my son is like the field brothers and sisters hear me there is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow i don't know who must appear to bless you but i'm saying it again in the name of jesus i mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you in 
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 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 Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.